Today's episode of Meat Revival, chicken wings. Probably one of the favorite snack foods, uh, munching foods, whether it's for the game, for tailgating, for just eating out on the weekend. It's also one of my favorite things. Today we're gonna actually do a smoked and fried wing. So we get that great hickory smoke to it with that crispy bite at the end. Uh, the wings we're cooking today are Springer Mountain Farms chicken wings. These uh, products from Springer Mountain Farms are absolutely amazing. Um, humanely raised, no hormones, no antibiotics, just good stuff. This will probably be one of the easiest preps that we have. First what we do is we take our parted out chicken wings. You've got your flat and you got your drum. There's a debate on which one's the best. Chicken wings and chicken wings are all the best to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a large Ziploc bag Open it up, we're going to place our chicken wings, dump them into it, like that. So now we got our wings in the bag. Now it's time to rub. The easiest way to rub is in the bag. We're going to use a lot of full uh, red dirt barbecue seasoning. People say this is just for brisket and beef. We're going to prove them wrong with these chicken wings. So we're going to dump this in here, pretty decent amount because we got a good amount of, of wings. Now we want to keep air in this. So we're going to basically just toss our wings around, keep our hands clean. Get them all nice and coated good. And we're done. Now what we're going to do is squeeze that air out. We're going to let them sit in the refrigerator for probably about an hour so they can sweat, get that, that rub absorbed in on them and then we're gonna take them out to the smoker. We'll see you then. All right, we've got our chicken wings. They've been in the refrigerator for about two hours marinating in the uh, Lotta Bowl Red Dirt Rub. We're gonna take them over here to the Rec Tech 700 Bowl. We're gonna put it on uh, at 300 degrees for about an hour and a half or until the internal's at 170 degrees. Let's go put them on. Nothing special when it comes to putting the, the wings on. We just want to get them evenly spaced. Give a little bit of, of room in there so they can breathe. You can hear that nice sizzle. And we're going to let them go for, like I said, about an hour and a half or until they're about 170 degrees inside, internal temperature. Then, where this gets interesting, we're gonna pull these out and we're gonna cool them. We're gonna put them either in the refrigerator or you can put them in your cooler, in a Ziploc bag, but we wanna bring them down to full refrigerated temperature, under 40 degrees. So what I like to do when I cook wings, I like to cook a bunch. That way I could vacuum pack them, I could throw them in the freezer and when I get a craving for chicken wings, I can pop them out I can pop them out, let them thaw, throw them in the fryer, and they're good to go. So we're gonna let these get a little bit of smoke on them, and we'll be good to go. So what do you got going there, Kevin? Looks like you got some hot grease and some chicken wings there. We do. This is the uh, last part of our smoked and fried chicken wing. We're actually gonna use the Rectech Matador. Uh, it's one of their grills that is actually not a pellet cooker. It's, it's a propane disc cooker and it's actually one of the coolest little things you can, can uh, cook on in my opinion. It's, it's got a ton of space. You can fry, you can do breakfast, you can do uh, stir fry, fajita machine. But today we're going to be doing some chicken wings. So anytime you're using hot grease you always have to be careful. Hot grease has the, the, the ability to bubble up and and cause some serious damage. So you don't want to just throw your chicken wings in. So we're going to lay these in here gently. For three and a half minutes. Out, 
So we're going to cook these for three and a half minutes. They're going to get a nice crisp on them. Then we're going to take them inside and we're going to spin them with our barbecue sauce. Well, they're looking pretty. Yes, they are. So you think they only go about three and a half minutes? Three and a half minutes is how I've always done them. Okay. They're pre-cooked, so all we're really having to do is warm them up. If you remember, we pulled them out of the cooler and they were they were cold. So we just what we're wanting to do is reheat them and get that nice crisp uh, skin on them. Okay. So when you smoked them. The skin just kind of gets kind of rubbery, doesn't it? Yeah. So you cook them and then you put them back in the freezer or cool them down cool them in down. The refrigeration to get them back what? About 40 degrees or below? Below 40 degrees, yeah. Okay. So then you take them straight out of that yes, refrigeration? You take, you take them straight out and throw them in cold. Okay. Now, if you do freeze them, you don't want to throw them in frozen. Yeah, that's true. That wouldn't be good, would it? No, not at all. So I noticed that the sizzle is going down now, so I'm thinking that it's probably trying to get some of the skin crisp up. Yes. The lower the bubbles, the doner they are. All right, well, we've been about, about three minutes or so, so we're gonna start pulling these out, draining, draining our oil here, using a metal sl slotted spoon. And then what we're gonna do is take them in, and I've prepared what I like to call a barbecue sauce. It's a, a mixture of a buffalo and barbecue sauce that just goes so good with these, these wings that, oh. It's a hot one here today in Alabama too. All right, now for safety reasons, we're going to Turn this cooker off. Hot oil is always, always uh, got to keep in mind the safety about it. We're going to take these inside, do the, finish them up. All right, now we're inside with our, our fried and smoked and fried wings. We're going to give them a spin in our barbecue sauce. Now, the barbecue sauce that we're using in this is one cup Lada Bowl barbecue sauce, one cup Frank's hot sauce, and one cup butter. Heat it up on the stove, get it all incorporated, spin them a little bit, and you're ready to serve up. Nothing goes like a good, with a good chicken wing, like a homemade ranch dressing. So I think that looks like about enough for me. So let's see how they turned out. That's good. That's all there's left to say. That's good. I don't know what you're doing, but these are, these are, you're not getting any. <laughs> Thanks for checking us out today on Meat Revival. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get all the latest updates. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. We'll see you next time.